Hello everyone, this is Kim Quaby with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I love to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. So for me, it's about time to create for Halloween, if you haven't started thinking about that already. And I'm combining uh, my Halloween card with a fun fold um, that we created during one of my team meetings mystery stamping sessions. So um, it's kind of fun to see how different papers and stamp sets can transform um, a fun fold. So um, let me just, let's pop down to uh, my workspace and I'll get started uh, right away. We'll show you the designer series paper that I'm using. And it is the Halloween Spells 12 by 12 designer series paper. Now you won't find this in um, one of Stampin' Up's catalogs. It is part of a brand new scrapbooking release. Um, the um, catalog is available um, electronically. I can get you a PDF of that if you um, would like. And um, because the paper, this Halloween paper, you can get it separately. It's 12 sheets, um, three each of four designs. You could also add the sticker pack to it. There's also um, a scrapbooking kit, an additional stamp set that you can order. So lots of really fun things if you're into Halloween. But there's also a fall kit and two um, winter kits as well. So the coordinating colors in this paper are pumpkin pie, gorgeous grape, pool party, and uh, black. Uh, granny apple green as well. So there's the one side. We've got um, some, this is a really fun sheet too. Then we just flip it over and these are the other designs on the back. So um, what I love about the three sheets of each design, it gives you um, a, a, a little extra sheet so you're able to um, create more cards and um, gives you a good value for your packet of uh, designer series paper. So this is the fun fold we're going to be creating today. Um, just like that. Um, it uses the uh, Choose Happy stamp set from Stampin' Up's annual catalog. This one is a word builder, so uh, it works for all of the seasons, and there are little images that you can add as well. So I've just created mine to say Happy Boo Day. So there we have it. Um, I will give you um, the cutting directions and the measurements. We'll do some scoring together. Um, if you get lost or if you just want to watch and enjoy and look later, the measurements are on my blog at KimPlaysWithPaper.com. So I start with a piece of designer series paper that's 4 inches by 12 inches. And then I'm going to score it. And if you have a stamp and trimmer, remember that the gray, the light gray is the one for... Um, for scoring. I love that both the cutting blade and the scoring blade are on the same track so that you don't have to um, change out your mechanism. So the first score is at three and one quarter. No, oh, I remember I need my arm out for this. Three and one quarter, eight and one half, and then 11 and a quarter. And then we're done with the trimmer. It's that easy. Uh, this is also a great fun fold if you have a lot of designer series paper um, that you would like to um, use up. This um, and it, it also showcases uh, both um, both sides of the design. I know sometimes with the designer series paper, uh, it's hard so hard to choose which side we want to use. Then there's this little score right here. We're just going to score that and fold it up. Use a little bit of adhesive. And um, there we go here. So that, so now we can start um, working on the inside. We'll work on the inside of our card first and then we'll move to the outside. So I have a piece of basic black card stock that measures three and three quarters by five. And then my white measures three and a half 
by four and three quarters. And all I'm going to do on the inside white, you could put more um, sentiments, more sayings if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna add a little, um, a little pumpkin face just for something fun, but you could, you could design this up any way you'd like. You could add some designer series paper in here. It's entirely up to you how much you want to, um, want to add and make it your own. That's, that's what stamping is all about, making it your own. And, and the second thing is sending it, making sure that you get that in the mail and surprise someone with a fun handmade card. Love, love, love that. All right, so then I'll just layer the white onto that black and we'll put it in the center of the card and then we'll get to some some stamping. And I also have a couple of other cards to show you um, that I've made with the designer series paper and I'll show you the inspiration um, for this fun fold as well. Um, actually too, we'll need to add our card to the base. This is, a, I chose the pumpkin pie. What I love about Stampin' Up's designer series paper that it coordinates with all of the current cardstock colors. So I know that when I look at the, the colors, I can pull any of them out and they'll work. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. And we'll just put some adhesive on the back. And this will fit into um, one of uh, Stampin' Up's uh, regular size envelopes. Okay, so there we have, there's our, there's our fun fold. And then I have some, a uh, piece of white I'm going to stamp on. And that white measures two and a half by four. Um, so I've already from that choose happy stamp set, I've uh, happy boo day. Um, I just use my glass man. I put the letters, the words on, and then pick them up with that um, block. So let me just use some black memento ink, give that a good little ink up, and stamp that right here on uh, the bottom of my piece and then I'm going to want my little pumpkin also memento because I'm going to color it with some blends right about here um, if you when you use your stamp and blends be sure to use the memento ink for your images granny apple green blend here just for the stem and then the pumpkin pie for uh, the little pumpkin itself Give it a quick color. I'm not going to shade or anything. I have the dark in my hand, but I know that the light would work just as well. So I'm just gonna add some swirly color here while we while we talk. But um, cute little stamp set, cute little pumpkin. Then we'll put a little face on him. Little jack-o'-lantern. All right, so we've used that already. We'll just grab this black out again. Um, ink that up really well. Give him a little face, a cute little face. There we go, okay. Let us then layer that uh, white onto our pumpkin pie. And that pumpkin pie, just for reference, measures two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I'm hoping all those make sense. I know they're on my blog. So, um, and feel free to ask me any questions in the video comments or get a hold of me um, through my contact information. I, I'm happy to help. All right. Um, and then I have some ribbon. This is Stampin' Up's uh, Very Vanilla and Black Checked 3 8 Inch Ribbon. What I this love about this is you can color it with the Stampin' Blends and make it any color you want. You could make it Granny Apple Green. You could make it Gorgeous Grape. But I did this ahead of time. I have a strip that's probably about 16 inches long that I colored using um, the pumpkin pie. But I, I did use the 
the blunt end, the tip end, so that it doesn't ruin my brush end of that to make my blends last a little bit longer. Then I'm just going to tie a bow here. Um, and I always have way too much ribbon, but um, I don't know, with my fingers, I always seem to need just a little bit more. Also, when you're working with the blends, be sure that you have um, something protecting your work surface because it will bleed through. So I'll just trim those little ends off. And then just a fun little um, added extra um, piece. I've got some linen thread here. Um, one of the staples in my craft room, always on my order. I'll make another little um, bow here with that, with the linen thread. It's just fine if you don't want to add this extra extra step, but um, I'll show you the inspiration for that shortly here. Another bow. Try to find that end. Lots of little squigglies going on here. Okay, I'll try to trim that off. Okay, then the next step is placing this on the card front. And when you do so, you want to make sure that you don't put the adhesive on the bottom. You only want it on the top so that the card is free to open. You don't want to glue the card shut. So I'm going to place my seal, just a couple of strips right here by this flap. I mean, you could pop it up with dimensionals if you wanted to. That's always an option as well. So there we have created our uh, fun fold, and it's crooked as all get out. So let me see if I can gently pull that off. Um, usually I don't mind, but that was pretty obvious. And I do want to send it to somebody. All right, then I do need some jewels. I pulled out the Glossy Dots assortment, and there are some gorgeous grape that matches the colors in the Designer Series paper. Another one of my favorite things about Stampin' Up! is that uh, um, everything coordinates, and it makes it so easy to create um, fun and festive and coordinating projects that everything looks good. Um, I am not a natural artist, so some of that does not come easy to me, so I appreciate that piece from Stampin' Up. Um, and for me, on these dots, the, there we go. Okay, so there we have this finished fun fold uh, Halloween card using the Halloween Spells Designer Series paper and the Choose Happy stamp set. I promised I'd show you just a couple of other samples. This is another card made with the designer series paper. I just use strips that measure five by one and an eighth. You could mix and match those. You can see that I also used gorgeous grape on the ribbon and colored that ribbon there. And here's my jewels again. Um, another one, another fun fold. Just different pieces of that designer series paper. Colored the ribbon again. There we are. And then let me show you the inspiration. This is the card um, I created for our team stamping, um, mystery stamping card. This uses the Citrus Blooms bundle. Um, so you get just a totally different look uh, with the different card stock and the different stamp sets, but um, still the same super fun, fun fold effect. So I hope you enjoyed this project today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do that so you can get notices of when I um, upload videos. If you have any questions, please give me a shout. Um, and until next time, happy stamping, everyone. Bye-bye.